Hey guys, welcome back to another quick CV Linens video. Today we're going to show you guys how you can create a layered design using valence hangers. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so first what we're going to do is cover our uprights using our spandex upright pole covers. Um, and these just have a slit on each end to just kind of go through the top part and slide it down. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. We have them in different colors, so feel free to check those out as well, so you can find the perfect match for yours. All right, next we'll go ahead and add in our first crossbar. The next thing we're going to use is our valence hanger. Our valence hangers come in sizes of 3 inches and 9 inches. This one we're going to use the 9 inch since we're creating a triple layer backdrop. Here's a closer look at our 9 inch valence hanger. You'll see that one end is squared off and one end is angled. The angled part will go into the open part of the upright into that middle section there. And tuck this one here. Add that on. This part we want to put it in the middle for the design, so we're going to go ahead and just move it all the way towards the middle. Next we'll add another crossbar to add in our final layer of drape. We're going to add another sheer boil coral drape to the be on the outside of our design. So I'm going to slide this one in first to go to the other end. and use our glitz mesh. Um, it's pretty similar to our glitz sequins. However, the only difference is the backing. So this one, as I mentioned, is on a mesh and our glitz sequin is on a taffeta. So this is our glitz on mesh and then our taffeta is a thicker um, material. This one is very easy to use with uh, when doing swags or any lightweight draping, you'll want to use the mesh glitz. All right, and for our next fabric, we're going to use our chiffon drapes. These are a bit similar to our sheer voil. Uh, the only difference is going to be, well, two differences. One will be the width of the drape. This, these chiffon ones are going to come in a 58 inch width as opposed to our sheer boil, they come in 118 inches in width. And these are a softer fill than our sheer boil. adjusting our pipe set up to the desired height, we're going to go ahead and give it a box look with the last drape at the end. And you're just pretty much just passing the pocket all the way to cover over as much of the valence hanger as possible. So now going ahead and creating our design. This one here at the end, as I mentioned, will be the box look. So we're not going to do anything with this one. We'll go ahead and just wrap it around the um, upright to move it out of the way. 
and I'll just go ahead and wrap it around twice just to give it that little tuck in there. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and begin with our first string. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do the hand over hand pleating method. Uh, you can certainly do one drape at a time, or you can go ahead and continue once you finish the first drape onto the next one. Um, I'm personally, I like the swag to be done with each section. So I'm going to just kind of do a loose, a loose tie around this upright with a zip tie. And as I mentioned, you want it to be loose, so don't tie in your zip tie so tight, uh, just so it gives you room to adjust the, um, the swag once the entire loop is done. All right, now we're gonna go to the next one, continuing that hand over hand through the back end. And then here's where you'll begin to create your swag. sure one more time that everything is good and to my desired look and then I'll go ahead and tie up the zip ties. As you can see it's really easy to um, plead the glitz the mesh. It's very soft and you can see how like nice the swag will you know drop. It's so easy to, to, to work with. And for tying these, you can certainly use pipe cleaners or even clear, clear zip ties, anything that's of your preference. I would definitely give it the same look. It's just, of course, depending on which tool you want to use. And then you can either cut these off or just put them to the back. Right, we're going to go ahead and cinch the middle using a rhinestone velcro clip. last thing that you'll want to do is fluff out your drapes and tuck in any extra material creating a bubble look at the bottom. After that is done and the design is at the desired look, you're all set. This triple layer backdrop design is ready to use for a photo booth as is or even be placed behind a head table. 
We hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to stop by some of our social pages to get some more event inspiration, but also check out some of our latest videos. Thank you guys again so much, and we'll see you in the next one.